Boom. What's up guys? Sorry, it's been an extremely long two weeks and I know I have not posted. That is on me. Um, but I did get something special while I was on my trip. So let's go ahead and get into that thing with a cut and a light. All right, right off the first light, you get a little bit of that white pepper spice, a little bit of cedar, and a little bit of vanilla in there. Maybe a little bit of honeysuckle also. So it's like a sweet, woody, spicy, pretty balanced cigar. Oh, you get some earthiness in there now. It's even round to get out even more. Um, now, this is a Nicaraguan Puro. It's a Nicaraguan Criollo and Corojo. That's the entire blend. It's a 6x52 with a 109 cap that you guys saw. So it's kind of in between a like a Parejo style cap and a Bellicoso. It's right in between there. But let's let this thing heat up. We're getting the first third and we'll see how it changes. So the spice is still there. It's kind of going in the background now. Up front, you just have this nice woody cedar note and the, the sweetness, the only way I can really describe it is an overwhelming light sweetness. So it's like a light, bright sweetness that's not too in your face, but it's surrounding the entire profile. I guess that's the best way to say it. So it's like a, like a honeysuckle note, but it's covering the woodiness and the slight white pepper and, and the vanilla a little bit. And then there's a, a brown sugar also in there. And now the aromatics off of this cigar, it smells like you're baking um, biscotti. It's got the nutmeg, it's got that cinnamon, it's got the nuttiness in there. It's really nice and I'm thinking hopefully that eventually will come on the palate. The palate is nice and well blended and very round, um, but the, uh, the aroma right now is, I think, the best thing about this. The burn's been pretty good. I've touched it up one time. The draw is amazing. Construction's seen pretty well so far. Um, I love the color of this wrapper. It's like a Colorado Claro type color. And that band is just, I think that's the prettiest band that Kyle's ever done. And I think Kyle makes the best looking bands out there. So. I'm impressed so far. Let's keep it going. Uh, we'll get to the end of the first third and see how it changes. All right, so the profile has completely completely changed um so i'm getting like this peanut buttery vanilla cookie type flavor out of it um there's a twinge of that spice still in there the cedar is pretty much almost gone now um but that the vanilla is coming forward there's actually a little bit of like a truffle note in there there's this um this hay aspect also and it's like every two or three draws, something's coming in, something's going out. That's what I absolutely love about Warped. It's so complex. I mean, there's not a cigar they make that I don't absolutely love, but every new blend that he comes out with, I think it just raises the bar one more step. Kyle, you killed it. Again, I, I can't, I have no words to explain. It's, it's amazing. So I even walked away, went inside for about five minutes or so, came back, burned perfectly. No relights, no nothing. Now, I have touched it up once or twice. You saw that. Now, that's kind of to be expected with a 52 ring gauge. Now, that hasn't sat in my humidor for a very long time. Just so eager to smoke it. And I wanted a 
natural reaction to this cigar because I've never smoked it before. I've actually never smoked anything in the Florida Valle line besides the Skyflower, which of course has the Medio Tiempo in it, which is a completely different ball game. Now, I do get a hint of this Play-Doh note inside of the Florida Valle, um, or actually this size and the Skyflower, and I usually only get that note from Medio Tiempo, which is pretty characteristic to me uh, of Medio Tiempo. So like in the, the one-off plus 53 Robusto, um, in a lot of Medio Tiempo blends, I get that. Um, and this actually has a little bit of that note, and it's kind of going in between that Play-Doh-y note and more of like a whiter black truffle note. Um, but it's got this saltiness and that keeps adding on to the profile too. And it, every time I take a draw from it, I'm going to introduce a new flavor or one's going to go away or it's going to switch it up and one's going to be the main or it's too complex to even describe. So I'm going to keep smoking. All right, so we're pretty good into the second third now. About halfway, a little bit more than halfway through the cigar. Uh, obviously, the ash is holding on pretty good. Uh, the burn has still been pretty darn great. As you can tell, there's no combustion cone on that at all. Everything is burning right where it needs to be. There's been addition of this semi-sweet dark chocolate note. Um, the saltiness is still there, the vanilla is still there, that nice honeysuckle, a um, little bit of earthiness out there. It's all still there and it's just building on each other, um, which I just absolutely, I, I love it. And even with all this complexity and all these different flavors, it is, um, it's not taxing on the palate at all. It is a full flavored cigar. It is a medium plus body cigar, but it's, it's so clean and oily at the same time, which is just amazing. I, and that's pretty characteristic of Criollo and Corojo. They're two different varieties that are in this, to, uh, this cigar. But I don't think, I mean, he does a lot of blends with just Criollo and Corojo. I mean, this, Kyle Gellis is very talented. This is uh, a blend of common varieties that he uses and all of Aganorsa uses but this is such a different blend than everything else that he has on the market right now. Um, I definitely recommend getting these. Uh, they're about $13 a, a stick. I think $12.98 is what I got them for. Um, but absolutely one of the more unique cigars out there. I, I can't really say any more about it. Um, I guess we'll keep on smoking it and see if it changes or gets any better. I didn't think it was going to get any better. I didn't think it was possible to get any better. But with the addition to that chocolate, with the earthiness, with a little bit of white pepper, with that, it's super balanced, it's super complex. I'm gonna have to get more of these. Kyle, you did it again. Front to back, beginning to end, every third, all the way down to the last inch. It has been absolutely amazing. It did randomly go out one time, which is, I guess that just happens sometimes. I mean, where there's leaves and those different primings, maybe I wasn't smoking it fast enough, I don't know. But either way, a coffee came in, so you have, you have that coffee, you have that little bit of earthiness in there. It is a dark roast coffee. And that uh, sweet, milky, kind of dark chocolate has turned into a straight dark chocolate. So it is a, on the fuller body spectrum, it's still full flavor, but it's still not taxing at all to the palate, which I absolutely love. You could smoke multiple of these back to back to back. Um, I love Criollo and Corojo. I don't think it gets any better, but $13 a cigar. I don't feel bad at all paying for an entire box of these. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Cigar Psalm saying, smoke them if you got them.
hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. See you next time.